Hey, what is going on, everyone? As always, it is lovely to see you. Today, I have a lesson all about dating and relationships. In this lesson, I'm going to give you a bunch of new vocabulary words and phrases that you can use when you're talking about dating. I'll also explain a lot of common mistakes that I hear students make when they're using these words, so it should help your speaking as well. Let's get started. First, I want to explain the difference between going on a date and dating somebody. The noun date is just a single event when you spend time with a person that you're maybe interested in having a relationship with. Date as a noun is usually paired with the verb go, like this example. I went on a date with Sarah last weekend. It was really fun. I definitely want to have another date with her. To be dating someone as a verb, this is the step in between a first date and a relationship. When you like someone, you go on dates together often, but you aren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet. For example, Sarah and I have been dating for about a month. I think I'm going to ask her to be my girlfriend. Okay, now I'll explain relationship, engaged, and married. So relationship, this means you are officially boyfriend and girlfriend. And usually relationship is paired with the word in, like in this example. Mike and Allie are in a relationship. To be engaged, this means that two people are officially planning to get married, but they are not married yet. If you are engaged to someone, instead of calling them your boyfriend or girlfriend, you call them your fiance, like in this example. Sarah is my fiance. We've been engaged for four months and will get married next year. Married, this would be after your wedding. You are officially husband and wife. It can be a verb or an adjective. Jill is married. That's an adjective. Jill married Tyler last year. That is a verb. A common mistake I hear is students confusing married and wedding. Wedding just means the official ceremony or party where a man and woman become married. It only happens once and it's just one day. During a wedding, the couple are called bride and groom. The woman is the bride and the man is the groom. To propose as a verb, when you're talking about relationships, it means to officially ask someone to marry you. Usually the guy proposes to the girl, but sometimes it's the opposite. Proposal is the noun form of this verb. Josh proposed to Alice on a beach in Thailand. It was a really romantic proposal. Okay, now for some negative words. To cheat, when it's talking about a relationship, it means that you had sex with someone else, not the person you are in a relationship, engaged, or married with. So it is not a good thing to do. To break up, that means to end the relationship. Usually, cheat is paired with the word on, and break up is paired with with. Like in this example, Jamie broke up with Bill because he cheated on her. So break up with cheat on. To hook up with someone, that means to have sex with someone you're not in a relationship with and probably not interested in a relationship with. And then a one night stand that is a slang term to hook up with someone you probably won't see again. So that's why it's called one night, because it only happens once. Nowadays, I'm not interested in one night stands or hooking up, 
I mostly want a serious relationship. Okay, now this one's important. The difference between love and in love. So you can use love for anything. You love your parents, you love your dog, you love exercise, you love pizza. But in love, that is only for romantic love. So only use that for someone you're in a relationship with. To begin to feel in love, usually we use the word fall. Just like in this example, Tom fell in love with Jessica when they worked together last year. Next, when you're talking about dating, if a person is single, it means they are not in a relationship. And sometimes they will add looking or not looking. If someone is single and looking, they're not in a relationship, but they want to be. If they're single and not looking, they're not in a relationship, but they don't want a relationship right now. And then taken, that means in a relationship. Bob is single, but not looking. He's too busy with work to date nowadays. Okay, last set of words. So a couple as a noun, this just means any two people that are in a relationship, engaged or married. You can use couple for all three situations. And then newlyweds as a noun, a newlywed is a person who recently got married. Okay, so that is all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some new vocab you can use when talking about dating. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments. And I have a bunch of really useful new lessons coming in the next few weeks. I think they're some of the best lessons I've made so far. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that button so you can get them as soon as they come out. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Later guys.